Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 64 in chapter 32. Chapter 32 is about light, reflection, refraction. So there we can see we have this is the devices, right? For these devices, we know first one the index of the object is n1. We don't know we want to find it. And then n2 is 1 because it is in the air, right? In the air. And the Theta one is a forty-five degree because it's show you the total internal refraction occurs at forty-five degree. So forty-five degree, we write it here. And then now, because this is a total internal refraction, so theta two is given as a ninety degree. So now, give you these three quantities, can you find n one? Yes. So we write down Snell equation. N1 sine theta 1 equal to N2 sine theta 2 and convert the equation. We get function for N2, input all the given quantity, we get answer there. Second case is what if this object is surrounded by water? So when it is surrounded by water, so N, N2 changes, right? Because now we get its N1 at 0, so now it changes to N2 has a 1.33 and also we know the index for this object becomes 1.58 so in this case n1 is given n2 is given theta 1 is given theta 2 is given ask you will the internal uh, reflection will occur so that means we still write down the snail equation so we need to determine whether the sine theta 2 is just equal to 1, theta 2 is 90 degrees. This is what we want. It should be 90 degrees. But we can do the calculation to see whether it is 90 degrees. And after our calculation, we find sine theta 2 is 0 0.84. It is smaller than 1. So this is not 90 degrees. So this is not total reflection, right? So this is not. The third one asks you what is the medium n is needed for this object. Uh, just in the water. So that is simple. So in this case, we, we don't know N1, we need to find it. And N2 is 1.33 because it's in water, and theta 1 is given, theta 2 is given. We write down Snell equation, convert this equation, get function for N1, and input all the given quantities, we get answer there. Thank you.